What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about V-Ray 5 for Revit. Now, if you don't know, V-Ray is a very powerful rendering software which can be used with a wide range of the modeling software, and in this case I'm going to be showing you how to use it, obviously, with Revit. Now, I particularly like V-Ray because it has the power to, well, pretty much adjust everything. So, uh, when it comes to architecture and when it comes to visual presentation, uh, our, us architects, we usually like to, you know, kind of get things looking exactly how we want them to look. And V-Ray offers exactly that. It allows you to kind of precisely dial things in and make them look exactly how you want and kind of make your your vision come to life inside of this rendering. So that's what I really like about V-Ray and it has tons of really useful tools that allow you to adjust pretty much everything that you need for your perfect rendering. And now in this particular tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use the V-Ray Light Gen uh, which is a tool that allows you to well generate uh, a lot of different uh, lighting variations for your model. So you can pick out do you want interior or exterior real lighting and then it just gives you or generates a whole set of options for lighting and it generates these thumbnails and then you can just pick out what you like so it kind of saves you the trouble through going through the settings and kind of testing everything uh, one by one it just gives you everything at once uh, then we're going to be talking about populating our model with entourage uh, from chaos cosmos library and i'm going to be showing you how you can scatter these elements how you can scatter trees and how you can bring in variation and just make it look uh, really realistic really like something that you would see kind of in in real life when it comes to trees and then we're going to be talking about linked files so linked files are notoriously difficult to work with especially when it comes to rendering through a plugin like V-Ray luckily V-Ray now has the ability to actually edit the linked project files inside of Revit and prepare them from for rendering so in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can from kind of from the main project file how can you access the linked file and then edit the material there and set up all of the materials this is really useful because previously you would have to well you would have to basically close down the file open up the linked file adjust the material there close down that file open up the original kind of main project and then see if everything looks good if it doesn't then you have to repeat the whole process again, close down that project and go back and it's a total nightmare. So with this, V-Ray allows you to just access the linked files within the main project file, which is really amazing. It saves so much time. So that's what we're going to be covering today. Now, if you want to learn more about V-Ray and if you want to get it, I'm going to be leaving a link just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. And before we jump into Revit and start testing V-Ray, full disclosure, uh, this is a sponsored video. Okay, so now without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So I'm going to go here to the V-Ray tab and let's enable V-Ray, which is just going to, well, start up V-Ray for this project. Okay, so once V-Ray is on, uh, let's first take a look at what our project currently looks like through the eyes of V-Ray. So what I'm going to do first is go here to the view tab and then click on that and let's set up our view selector to our main 3D view. So this, that's this view that we have here. So I'm just going to set that to be active and here it will display current view, uh, one main 3D view. So that's, that's the name of this one. Uh, now for the next step, I'm just going to go here to the lighting panel, expand the little drop menu and here we have light gen. Uh, now this is going to allow you to generate uh, different uh, lighting options for your model and you can just kind of search through those and see what works for you. Okay, so here is the V-Ray light gen, and then uh, what we can do here is we can first set up, do we want to, are we working with an exterior or interior view? Uh, now, once we set that up here, uh, we can set up the light source. So do we want to have sun and sky, or are we uh, working with HDR? Uh, now here, uh, what you can do then is set up uh, some uh, variations. So for example, uh, here at this moment, it's going to give us uh, three altitude variations variations and three azimuth 
variations. Uh, so what you can do is just click here on uh, generate and then it's just going to do its job and it's just going to generate different options for uh, sun uh, position for our model. And as you can see, V-Ray has here generated uh, multiple lighting options. Uh, now what I suggest you do is just switch this to realistic so uh, you can actually see the changes on your uh, screen in Revit. And then we can simply click on one of the options and that's going to apply those changes in the actual model. So as you can see here, as I toggle through these uh, different variations, that's going to give us uh, different results on the model, which is really cool. So once you kind of pick out uh, which one you want to use, so for example this one, uh, you can just close your uh, V-Ray light gen uh, down. Uh, and then also you do have the option, let's go here to reset, and then you can do the HDR. Now this is going to give you way more uh, variants. Uh, now obviously you can uh, drop that down. So for example here we uh, we can go with only 30 so that's going to give us uh, 10 unique styles and then we can generate that and see the results that that's going to give us. And these are the results that we have. So here we have a bit more variation and then we can do some uh, testing here and apply some of these uh, options to our model just to see what that would look like and how uh, the lighting would change. Uh, now when we pick out one of these obviously the changes are going to be uh, really seen uh, when we uh, render the model. So for example if I pick one, uh, let's go with this one and then let's close this up and now I'm just going to be doing a quick uh, interactive rendering so let's just uh, give that a look and see uh, the changes that we have made. And this is the result that we have. So it looks really, really good, exactly like in the preview image. Uh, so anyways, uh, now let's close this up. And now we're going to be taking a look at how can we uh, place some trees and actually use V-Ray to scatter those trees on our site. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up the, kind of the regular 3D view for working on this uh, model. So let's just open that up and then I'm going to first uh, place some trees. Uh, now in terms of the trees that I'm going to be using, obviously I'm going to be using trees from the Chaos Cosmos. So let's open that up. And then here let's go to vegetation, open that up, and I'm just going to be uh, selecting trees over here and then let's see what we have. So as you can see here we do have a significantly large library so just as soon as that loads in as you can see these are all of the options so I'm just only going to pick a couple so for example let's go with this one I kind of like this one so it's already loaded in uh, if it's not you can just uh, download it here and then it's just going to quickly download that component uh, now this one is already downloaded so I'm just going to select it here and import it into the model and then I can place it here on site as any other regular Revit component okay so now I'm just going to set the level here uh, I'm going to change it uh, to my street level and then I can just come in here and place the tree here on the site. So just like that. I'm not going to worry too much on the, on the location because I'm going to be uh, using a scatter later on. Uh, okay, so now I'm just going to be picking out uh, another tree. So let's uh, close out of this and then let's load in uh, this particular tree here. And again, I'm just going to be pl placing it on my site. And let's just place it here next to this one, just like so. Okay, so now when I have them both in place, I'm just going to hit the escape key a few times just to exit out of the uh, component tool. And then also I'm just going to close the Chaos Cosmos. Okay, now it's time to turn these trees, so just a couple of trees, into a scatter that's going to include these two tree types. So to do that, what you want to do is first go here to the Asset Editor, that's going to open up the ad Asset Editor, and then here on the Geometry uh, button, uh, we have the option to create a scatter. Uh, now for this scatter, uh, what you can do is you can actually rename it, so I'm actually going to call this one a tree, a tree scatter, so just in case you uh, might have multiple scatters, uh, so I'm just going to call it like that. Okay, now uh, we have to add these two trees as components here and we add them as guests. So you just go here to add guests 
and then you can select these two items and then here we have to just click finish to kind of complete that selection and that means that those two will now be added here and as you can see them they're exactly here uh, and then here we have this uh, probability of gas to appear so you can change this number in order to uh, uh, in order to basically uh, have more or less of one of these trees uh, then here we have the density which we can set up now I'm just going to lower this uh, significantly just because I, I don't want this to be too dense so I'm just going to drop this down to uh, 0 0.1 Okay, so once we have created the scatter, uh, now we have to apply that scatter to a surface. So what I'm going to do now is just if I can uh, resize this a little bit, I guess I can't. Uh, so anyways, uh, let's now go here to the appearance manager and that's where we're going to be actually telling V-Ray where we want the scatter to appear. So as soon as the appearance manager opens up, I'm going to go to families and then let's switch here to Cosmos and uh, what I'm going to uh, now do is click on our little scatter here and now we can actually select the surface so you just go here to add scatter host uh, I'm going to select this this floor here that we have and I'm just one go, I'm just going to apply that scatter to this floor here uh, then we just need to hit finish again here so that's going to create that uh, here as you can see and then in this little drop menu we can apply the tree scatter that we have onto this floor and then we can go here at the bottom and set up the scale rotation or scale multiplier for this so for example for uh, scale I can say okay I want this to go from 0 0.5 all the way up to 1.2 and then for rotation we can leave it at 0 to 360 uh, and then here we have the scale multiplier let's just leave that at 1 and now our scatter has been created now in order to view that we have to start our render interactive and then this is the result that we have as you can see these trees have been applied kind of organically we have different rotations different scales so all of the trees are going to look different and kind of natural and that's exactly what we want to see uh, now of course if you see perhaps too many trees you can uh, lower that down so we can uh, uh, go back here to the asset editor we can expand that and uh, one of the biggest benefits in my opinion of V-Ray is the fact that you can infinitely uh, tweak it and make changes and uh, just change everything uh, in order to get your renders to look exactly how you want and as you can see there's so many things that we can adjust and now the rendering is uh, adapting and we have well fewer trees as we set it up over here now I'm going to be showing you how you can actually change materials uh, for linked files inside of your project. So for example in this case only this building in the foreground so only this office building here is part of the project. Everything else so this building here, uh, this skyscraper uh, in the back and then this building here as well all of those are linked files. Uh, so that's basically how this project is uh, is made and now I'm just going to be demonstrating how you can actually uh, change materials for uh, linked files so first we need some new materials so I'm just going to go here to chaos cosmos open that up and then here uh, what we can actually do is uh, go uh, to materials so let's open that up and then let's search for something like okay let's do bricks first so here for example we can take one of these uh, brick materials so for example let's say we want this uh, great brick so I can just download that and, and now we can load it into the project uh, so it's uh, loaded up here uh, in the uh, asset editor uh, and then for the next one uh, let's see do we have some metal for our facades so here we can just search for something interesting okay yeah we can use this one for example and then I'm just going to download that uh, download that material and load that in as well okay so once these materials have been loaded in the next step is going to be to uh, go to our uh, appearance manager 
and then here we can find all of the materials that we have. Now what you'll notice is if I collapse the uh, project drop down for materials is that below there we have uh, building one so all of the materials for building one uh, then we have all of the materials for building two if we collapse that and then finally we have all of the materials for building three uh, now in this case I want to edit the materials of this uh, skyscraper that we have here so let's open up another view so here I have this uh, 3d view and then I can switch this to uh, realistic so we can uh, view even the change in Revit and now let's open up building 2 because that's our skyscraper and then uh, let's search for the brick common material and then here I can just replace that material with our brick wall uh, uh, gray stone so let's use that material there and then for the default wall because I think that's what I used here uh, I didn't use any real material so let's replace that with our uh, uh, ma shiny metal uh, material okay now uh, what I'm going to do is just switch the view here Okay, so now I've just switched the view here to our 3D view one, and then I'm just going to choose the render interactive. And now let's see how those materials will appear. And as you can see here, uh, we can see that the materials have been applied. Uh, we have now that gray uh, brick on the bottom and we have the reflected uh, metal, uh, patterned metal on the facade. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it and please tell me in the comment section below would you like to see more videos dedicated to uh, V-Ray and would you like to learn more. And as I said in the beginning, if you want to check out V-Ray, just follow the first link in the description just below this video.